Hello, this is Steve Powers. Um, today I want to talk to you about how to um, create color palettes from an image. I'm going to show you how to do it automatically and manually. Um, right here, I am in Photoshop CS5, and I have an image right here opened of uh, Bluff Point, and this is my son. Um, he is fishing or going actually after shrimp. Um, but anyways, go up to Image, and go down to Mode, or over to Mode, and then to Index Colors. Now this is going to allow us to pull uh, automatically um, a number of colors. We could uh, go as we can go as high as we want or as low as we want. Um, in this case, um, uh, I want to do. Oops, let's go back and just hit the Control Z and go back. Image mode index color, and say I want to. I want to take about 15 from this palette, um, create a uh, color palette from this image of only 15 of the colors. Um, you can see from this what um, isn't here anymore. This used to be red and you saw some blues and stuff around here. They're not there anymore, but um, the way to check to see exactly what they did take, um, go down to mode over to color table. Now these are the colors that it chose for us. Um, we can save these out and we're going to save these out because as a ACT file save that. I want to place it. Yes. Um, and we're going to cancel this and we're going to uh, go back to RGB color so we uh, don't destroy that. And um, let's go up to swatches. Pull this over and we're going to reset or excuse me, cancel. We're going to replace this. Um, as long as they're saved, the swatch is saved, um, you can um, uh, Go back to it. It's they're already there. In this case, we're looking for um, an ACO file. Well, that is what we just saved. We just saved an ACT file, so we have to change that and uh, pull that up. Now, these are the colors we chose. Um, if we want to um, see if there's a difference between some of these colors, it looks like there's two whites in here. Um, dead center, same thing. So let's um, remove that. Hold down the Alt key. And while doing so, hover over the color you don't want and cut it out, and it's gone. Now, we notice there's no reds in here, and you can say we don't need to have these blues necessarily, but some of the reds, maybe the skin color, maybe we do want that in here. Um, but it didn't have a lot of greens either. This is a very uh, pale palette, which, if that's what you're going for, that's fine. Um, that, that's uh, quite acceptable. Um, but sometimes you might just want to have one vibrant um, color in here. So if you're using some blues, you know, you go for um, some reds or some greens or what have you, uh, depending on the color wheel. You look at the color wheel as well. Um, so by um, holding down the uh, uh, color picker or the eyedropper tool, you can um, scan over uh, what you want to pick. In this case, um, so you want a, a darker red. Uh, it's, it's probably will come up with more brown. It's hard to tell um, necessarily until you um, you know check it out, see what kind of what color that is. You can see it is it's in the red family, but it's very very um, um, saturated. So again, uh, we'll go and grab say a lighter red, put that over there. You name these as you go if you'd like. Um, I don't necessarily uh, uh, want to at this point. Just grab some more. You can see I'm doing the reds and the greens separately. It's it's kind of uh, it's it's easier just to do it like that. Keep them in the same family. And um, I think think that's enough. We don't really need that many more. Um, so let's save this out as a swatch file itself. Um, here, uh, save swatches. And we'll save it out as an ocean swatch. Replace the one that's already there. And yes, we do. So from there, um, you could um, use these colors to um, you know do a painting similar. Um, to say there is an ocean scene. It's got some foliage and what have you. You don't have to uh, guess the colors. Here you have real life colors, um, and uh, you know the hues of those colors as well. Um, but say um, you want to uh, work on a um, painting, and, but have the uh, colors on your um, 
basically on the painting itself so uh, you're not always reaching over to the swatches um it's a it's a personal preference it's uh to me um I prefer this way as long as uh, the swatches are you know at the uh, large uh, thumbnail you can also do a uh, list and view it that way you can see um, different color codes of it but um, when I'm uh, picking them oops when I'm picking them I want to have a, a thumbnail it's it's easier but say you want to um, uh, keep it on your canvas what I do here I have here is a um, just a uh, simple 2x3 three at uh, 300 dpi um, that's background color the canvas color is just plain white but um, on a new layer here so let's clear out what's on this um, I have a separate layer here and I'm going to uh, brush in some of these colors um, so I wanted to um, organize the uh, uh, blues um, and this this by the way can be any any brush you want um, you you can use uh, new brushes. I I do like uh, using a solid brush for it. Um, uh, just for the um, I mean you can use a dry brush. That's fine. Um, what have you? Um, yeah, I'll go here and we'll bring up the um, uh, brush a palette. This will allow us to change off. I I don't want uh, the opacity or shape dynamics. I just want or even the dual brush. I just want it straight. So, um, what we do is we'll take that color and I'll uh, brush it in. Now, if you had opacity on here, by the way, that opacity would affect um, your your colors because you'd be basically only uh, painting in part of that. Now you can keep going through here and uh, just so you you can organize your colors as you want. Um, Granted, that's why you do make up these swatches, so you can make a swatch for foliage, or you can make it for skin, you can make it for hair, or what have you. Um, uh, you're working on a series of paintings, you want to keep the color palette um, the same, or at least similar. Um, and this is a good way to do it. And um, So once I do this, um, I can use the Transform tool, Control-T. Um, I don't really want uh, this little thing over here, but it doesn't really matter at this point. You can see how I can uh, adjust it. I can uh, do it that way. Hit Escape. We'll go back to what it was. I can uh, select this and hit Control T. I will um, refine my uh, selection as well. I can move it down. I can shrink it. I can elongate it what have you just hit control N when I'm happy and uh, in this case it's selected control D um, get rid of that alright so um, that is uh, the way to do it whether you um, yeah, you know uh, do it manually completely manually or uh, automatically or combination of the two you can refine uh, the colors in your uh, color palette and um, you know uh, use it as swatches or use it as a uh, um, as you would with um, an oil um, uh, painting where you have your uh, colors on a uh, color palette um, you know with a predefined uh, color so you don't have to mix it well hopefully this helps you and uh, helps with your uh, productivity have a good day thanks